what's up everyone another week another vlog and you guys already know i'm gonna get straight into the value because i don't like wasting time i don't like wasting your time because it's valuable and i also want to make my vlogs much more compacted and just more valuable for you to just come and instantly get a lot of value so i'm gonna get straight into it and as you guys know my vlog is just my journey it's basically sharing with you what i'm facing what mistakes i make what failures i'm making along this journey of my life my business my journey whatever you want to call it it's just actually it's just like a vlog for me to kind of look back to a couple of years from now and take clips out of them and be like oh yeah remember when i did that remember when i said that remember when i used to um be like this but then this happened and it's just a way for me and you guys to learn from somebody who's just starting at somewhere and then going after their dream their vision again whatever you want to call it your goals and I just want to bring you as much value as I can. I want to inspire you guys from watching my journey. I already do a lot of, you know, mini vlogging on my Instagram stories. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, Coach Sadiq, make sure you guys go and follow me on Instagram because that's where I share so much more of my daily, daily um, lifestyle uh, failures, mistakes, successes, fun stuff, cool stuff. And if you're following me there already, you know how much value I share on my Instagram page. And now that Instagram Reels is out at the time of this vlog, I literally, Instagram Reels just came out about three days ago at the time I'm recording this. And it came out here in the UK. And I know, obviously, that I shared in one of my older vlogs, when, you know, when, when I lost 62% of my TikTok followers, in one day when he got banned in in, in India um, you know I was just like left with blank numbers basically on my Instagram on my TikTok account and I was really just posting more videos to see if I can catch up and get a new group of kind of audience from over there but now that Instagram Reels is out honestly guys I've been posting minimum like six videos a day um, in the last two in the last two or three days I don't know how long I can keep that up for because it's not easy I'm telling you now um, Instagram Reels allows you to post 15 second videos and so I'm, I'm already used to doing that on TikTok but sometimes my videos were 17, 18, 19, 20 seconds and maximum were 30 seconds but now it's like I'm talking really fast and just trying to get a quick you know really valuable insightful inspiring deep message across through instagram and tiktok now and i'm just keeping it at 15 seconds because i'm i'm seeing a trend happening right now and for those of you guys who i want to share um this with who are on social media and want to get the most out of social media i'm telling you right now if you're not on tiktok and you're not posting on instagram reels now and it can be the same content repurposed for each platform you don't have to remake two videos you just have to make the same video and then post it on both platforms um, using relevant hashtags and stuff like that and for that obviously that's more of a deeper training which I think I shared in one of my other YouTube videos go and try and look for that somewhere about social media if not reach out to me or leave a comment below if you have any questions as always and I will answer all of you guys questions but this week's vlog the intention of the vlog is to update you of what I've been up to so from literally from last Sunday till now, which is literally Saturday evening, I'm recording this um, because tomorrow I'm going to be really busy with the podcast edits, with more content, with more editing, with just a lot of things. And so I thought, let me make the vlog on Saturday evening, put it out there so it gives you time for you guys to watch it because I realise I've been posting it on the same day as my as my uh, podcast and it's not really you know working or picking up because you guys are you basically have too much to watch so it's kind of like I understand that it's hard for you to put time to watch it but this week honestly speaking for me has been more of a self-care self-love um, self-realization self-introspection self-reflection type of week for me I don't know why don't ask me why I didn't plan this like like this it's just you know my, basically my sister said that they're going to be going to the beach in Eastbourne and they're going to be staying for a few days and if I can take some days off so I initially I took off Tuesday to Thursday because I thought I might stay but I wasn't positive and then I just you know checked it out and I was like not really somewhere that I want to really go and stay because there's nothing to do there it's just the beach and for those of you guys who don't know I don't really love the sunshine I like it I just don't love it and so I prefer very normal cool weather if not very um, you know just just cool weather if not even uh, a little bit rainy or, or just even even cold weather I'm, I'm good with because the difference between cold and the hot weather is that at least in the cold you can put on some layers to feel warm but in the heat there's only so much you can take off and this is what I've been telling everybody this week there's only so much I can take off like I'm wearing the 
thinnest t-shirt you'll ever find literally i researched about t-shirts and i was like i need to buy the thinnest you know summer proof t-shirt and this company is amazing by the way i'm not sponsored by them at all i shared them all over my instagram and i shared them every monday in my fitness videos but after looking into the company into this brand tca um it, it literally i think in my in my opinion it's not it's either equally if not better than under armor like in my opinion um, because I, I, I've been wearing Under Armour clothes for all my fitness stuff and I absolutely love the quality, the heat proof technology, the trainers and everything. Um, but when I found out about TCA, I was just like, oh my days, like these guys making some really good technology t-shirts as well. Um, and then and they're very affordable and they're not expensive. So I was like, let me just buy a few of these. Like I need to, I need to upgrade my gym gear anyway. So let me just, you know, these were really affordable, not like, you know, Gymshark or some of the other brands who are a little bit more expensive, um, but obviously quality too. But anyways, it's just a brand. I found them and I started buying. I bought, you know, a couple of pairs of shorts and some of these t-shirts to work out with. And I bought some extra ones now, which are just like really, really thin that I can just wear at home because my room is boiling hot. But anyways, <laughs> but I live in, the, my room is in the loft, in the attic. As you guys know from the first vlog, I shared, I gave you a little tour of my room. You guys loved it. It's a really nice room. It's just in the, in the hot weather, it's the worst. And in the freezing cold weather, it's the worst. Because it's either really cold or really hot. And I can't get the balance. But anyways, this week, as I said, Tuesday, uh, starting from Monday, obviously I had, I did my Get Vocal event, which was amazing because you know two three of you guys had like breakthroughs and literally um you overthought your own question and then you answered your own question which was epic and i shared that on my instagram stories to show people proof that when people come to my online events or in a real event i can get people to have a mind shift very fast by just asking a question like you guys will ask me something and i'll ask you a question back and then you realize your own question and you answer your own question and that is something that is a skill that I've learned over the last few years of doing content and personal growth and all of that stuff. It takes time for you to learn that and it all comes with like psychology and um, a lot of um, communication skills, I would say. Um, so yeah, that was a really, really powerful event. Super cool. Love that. You guys had fun. Um, if you guys are not already, if you guys have not downloaded the app, get vocal. I'm going to leave a link for that in the description as well. And I want you guys to go and download the app and join me every Monday, 8 p.m. UK time, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Because I'm basically giving you a free coaching session, guys. Like, it's genuinely not even an online event. It's me talking for 15 minutes, sharing with you one topic. And then the rest of the event is about question and answers about that topic. And then even other topics around personal growth, mindset, confidence, and that kind of genre. So it's basically a coaching session that you can ask me anything and, and you guys will have breakthroughs like that, I can promise you. And I hope that you guys are not shy to answer your, to ask your questions because I want you guys to uh, ask your questions so other people out there get value. That's how it works. I One thing that I've learned is that you will give the most value to other people when you're just being vulnerable, authentic and genuine. And other people see that in you and be like, oh wow, this person's so authentic, so vulnerable, so genuine. And they're just putting out content, like just being themselves. And the more you try to fake it till you make it and try to be someone you're not, you're never going to make it far in life. I can promise you that. So Tuesday, I went to Eastbourne, which is a beach here. Um, it's not too far um, out uh, or out of London. It took me about under two hours to get there. One hour, 50 minutes is something like that. Um, I drove there. It was amazing. You know, there was free parking on the, on the main road. Um, so I parked up and then I literally met up with a friend from TikTok, Max Hindu. I met him through TikTok. And again, this is just me throwing it in there. You can meet amazing people from social media guys. And I'm honestly speaking right now, majority of my real life friends from school, college and all of that kind of stuff are not even in my life anymore. And they don't even communicate with me anymore. But the people that I meet online are literally my actual friends now. So all my social media friends are literally like my real friends now. They're the ones I text. They're the ones who FaceTime. They're the ones I have Zoom calls with. They are literally my best friends now. And so I went to Eastbourne, catched up with him. We made some content out there. He helped me film some fitness stuff. That was super cool. Um, I've also made a, a few videos for him. And then we went for, literally, we, we walked from one side of Eastbourne Beach to the other side and then to the other side back again. And then we sat on the beach for a bit. You know, obviously, in between that, we had ice cream. Uh, we had a slush puppy. I had fish and chips. He's vegan. So he just sat there and had water and watched me. 
anyway we catched up on life and we had a really really good conversation and i encourage you guys to you know meet if you can always meet your social media friends offline one day if they're in the same country as you if not then one day when you go to their country make sure you message them and you meet up it's just so powerful how you can build really really amazing meaningful relationships through social media if of course it's a 50 50 relationship it's not me giving you value and you're not giving anything in return right so it's not about oh i comment on your stuff all the time so that means i want to meet you no it's about you, what other value are you bringing me th th as much as I'm bringing you so it's 50 50 so hence why I don't meet all of my Instagram followers right or all of my TikTok followers I meet those who I feel like I can resonate with number one number two they inspire me in some way or they're putting out insp inspiring content that I can learn from and number three they're genuinely an authentic genu uh, genuine vulnerable kind person and if those three are tick marked, then I will meet them in person. If I know that when we meet, there's some kind of value exchange in terms of 50-50, I give you value and you give me back value or we inspire each other, then I shall meet you online, uh, offline. And so that's how I meet a lot of my social media friends. Anyways, what I was saying, so we walked across the beach and after we sat there, as you can see my face, I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm literally sweating right now in my room. And I was sweating even worse on the day on the beach. I went like, just look at this, guys. Like, I want to show you on the camera. Like, this is my skin color. And now this is my skin color. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this, but look. Like, dark chocolate brown to, like, you know, caramel, let's say. <laughs> but, but I literally got burnt. My face will all burn. Like, I'm, my, I got home and my mum was just like, what the hell happened to you? You look like you've just gone, like, dark. Like, you look like the dark night. And I was like, thanks, mum. <laughs> but, yeah, it was true. Like, I'm just burnt. And the next day I put aloe vera. Or like, we have an aloe vera plant in the garden. So I went and took some of that, washed it all over my face, brushed, brushed it as much as I could. And I'm just trying my best to get rid of it as fast as I can. But obviously it's going to just take time, so who cares? Um, and that's the other thing I'm just going to add in here. Like, I know, look, because I don't care about what other people think about me, I don't need to make up my face. I don't need to hide my, hide my face. I don't need to worry too much about what other people think because I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, I've come to that level of mental toughness and mindset where I don't care about other people's opinions. If they say you're gone dark and this and that, I'm just like, oh, cool, yeah, I know, I went to the sun, blah, 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 that's it. I don't care about other people's opinions because I, like, I've accepted me for who I am, exactly how I am. If I get burned, have spots, marks, um, my hair's messed up, whatever the case, I do not care. And I really, really hope and pray and wish that all of you guys can get to this mindset. It's only going to happen through personal development, self-education, um, hustling 24, no, no, okay, not 27, hustling a lot in your life towards your dreams and your vision. And then one day just having a paradigm and a mind shift when you're just like, hey, you know what? I don't care what you think about me, what they think about me, what my parents think about me, my siblings. I don't care. I'm just going to be me. 100% authentic, vulnerable, real, and the people who want to be in my life will come and those who don't will go. And that's okay, because you don't need everybody to be your friends. You literally need this hand, handful of people, one, two, three, four, five, max. Any more would be like you know, acquaintances, but these five over here, these five people that you surround yourself with, as they say, these are the most important people in your life. So hold on tight to these ones. The rest don't really matter. It's just noise and negativity, and you don't need that. Okay, so that was Tuesday, and then Wednesday, I, you know, I drove back obviously because I didn't stay there. I came back, and Wednesday was literally what did I do on Wednesday? Oh, it was I think Wednesday was just kind of catch up time for me, posting all the all the cool stuff that I did in Eastbourne, um, catching up with all my content because like I really didn't catch up on a lot of the content that day. I posted a lot, but I didn't catch up. And so Wednesday, I just catched up on everything, posted more content, created more videos. Actually, I made a lot of videos actually on the beach, and then I posted all of those on Wednesday. It was content, 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 basically catch up. Um, and then Thursday, I went to Hitchin Lavender, uh, not Hitchin, sorry, Mayfield Lavender Field. I went Hitchin last year. This year was Mayfield Lavender Field with my good friend Shads. I'm also going to tag him down in my vlog this week. And he's also creating, he's also starting his own vlog soon. So I'm, I'm looking forward to share that with you guys to also go and watch his photography and videography journey super cool guy one of my best friends we've done so much together if you've ever seen any picture of me majority of them are taken by him on my instagram page all the professional shots of me he has taken very few by other friends but he takes all my pro shots love him to bits he's super kind authentic genuine 
just an amazing guy and like super positive as well and he's doing amazing things so if you go if you guys are not following him make sure you guys go and check out his instagram um photography is unreal and now he's on tiktok and reels and everywhere so go and check him out i'm going to put him in the description um and also uh that's what I, when i went to it with him on that day to mayfield lavender field we just ha we just made so much content like he took so many new photos of me I was just, I'm just so grateful that I've gotten so many new cute, cool pictures of me doing handstands and crow pose and, um, you know, running down the lavender field, getting stung by bees and like, it was just so, so fun. Um, also, by the way, I forgot to mention that I've got my gimbal. For those of you guys who don't know, a gimbal is like a handheld device, like a tripod, but it's one that moves, it's for videographers. So it's like, it's basically, it's basically for stability. So do you know how when you take videos, we are very like shaky when we take videos? This is just like for stability. So literally you can move up, down, left, right, corner, corner, like it just stabilizes wherever you move. It's just really for smooth, it's for like smooth cinematography. Uh, I'm not a cinematographer, I'm not a videographer, but I got it because for my fitness content, um, it's going to be literally life changing. Like it's going to be amazing. So I got it for mainly for my fitness content, but also for when I go out, it's so much more uh, of an easier device to hold. Kind of like how people used to have selfie sticks, kind of like that. But it's easier for me to hold and kind of um, maneuver and take really cool uh, videos and stuff, which is just a hobby of mine. When I go out with my, when I go out with him now, he takes photos and now I can just take these cool videos and put them together. And I don't know, maybe share them on my YouTube channel or just share them on my Instagram feed for you guys to just enjoy. Anyways, that was Thursday. We got out there. We took loads of content. He took loads of photos. We got lots of videos. I made more content out there. Wherever I go, I make content because I know when I come back, I need to add some value back to you guys. So if I can make the most out of wherever I'm going in my life, because at the end of the day, my lifestyle one day is going to be traveling around the world and coaching people online and a few offline. But majority will be coaching people online and traveling to different cities around the world and getting to help people. Um, through coaching, through growing something for myself, for generations to come and just helping young people, middle-aged people, old people, whatever your age, helping people overcome mind barriers, build their business to the next level, help them become servant leaders, help them with their confidence, help them with their social media skills, just all the things that I've learned, help them with psychology, all the things that I've learned in my last six years plus of personal growth. I wanna share with people through my coaching, hence why I believe as a coach, I have a lot of other things that I've learned in my journey so far uh, in life and business that other coaches out there don't have. Most people just become a life coach for the sake of becoming a life coach because it's good money. Whereas I did a lot of things in my life and tried and tested lots of things until I became um, a, a business coach and actually found that as my purpose because now I actually love what I do. I, I love helping people grow their business, their mindset and take them to the next level. And so I've just been super blessed and I'm just so grateful that with the energy that I have as well, it's me just literally energizing people every every direction. Um, and I'm still working on the automation stuff with my friend on LinkedIn. So that's still happening in the background. It's taken a while, but I'm confident that once that's sorted, like I'm going to be getting a lot more calls and a lot more clients. So I'm not really worried about that at the moment, just getting the behind the scenes done so you guys can see the progress in the next couple of weeks coming. Um, Friday, I, I I was basically working from home again, and after that, I started making more content and posted more content. Same same old usual stuff. And today was Saturday again. I posted so much uh, Instagram real videos. Basically, guys, my, you guys already know the update of my life is literally content, content, content. But this week was just more for self care, and I just want to li literally touch on that a little bit. So if you don't ever take out this time for yourself, because you've seen my vlog, you've seen my podcast, you guys see my content for those of you guys who are following me if you're new to my channel then go through my just literally scroll through any of my social medias and you understand i post almost everywhere and so i genuinely want to bring the most amount of value to everybody that's online at least and then take those relationships offline and so in the meantime I like I'm, all i'm thinking in my mind is content but this week i was just like i don't know i just felt like i needed that little bit of a break and so when i went to that beach when i went to the field i got this just time to relax you know just time to chill because i work super hard and then sometimes i realize like yes i went back to the cinema to like have my cinema day or uh, when i used to go to watch my uh, my movie offline to zone out only literally recently i've been back because cinemas are open again and so basically my whole point is make sure you take out time for yourself because it's so important for you to just recharge re-energize your soul and your energy and to just get back to center and get back to 100% fully charged so you can do it all over again and, and work hard towards your dream. Um, 
that's pretty much it from my vlog this week it's been self-care um learning a lot posting lots of content instagram reels for those of you guys who are not taking advantage of it i'm saying this on this vlog right now make sure you take advantage of instagram reels because so many people said to me at the time tiktok came out or at the time I, I start taking TikTok more seriously, people said to me, oh, why didn't you tell us about it earlier, Sadiq? I would have been posting more videos. I was like, hey, I already told you when I joined, I posted it, all my TikTok videos on Instagram. You should have saw that and be like, wow, he's posting a lot over there. There must be a reason why. And so I'm telling you right now, Instagram Reels isn't the best, but it, it's new. And you have to go where new things are happening, where new eyeballs are. If you don't, if you haven't understood one thing by now, every social media, media, every social media company or platform that comes out right now, you should be on because that's where attention is. Wherever there's eyeballs and attention, you go because that's where you're going to be seen and found by someone. That's where you can inspire people, help people, make an impact. And then from there, if you have a business, that's where you can get business from because that's where people reach out to you. And if you don't have a business, then that's where you go to learn from the content of other people's um, uh, videos and stuff they post so that's it from this week as always make sure you guys leave a comment ask me a question down in the comments you know i come and reply to all the comments leave something there show some love share this vlog with a friend um i honestly want you guys to get more people to come and see this to kind of see the journey of that i'm going through and if not totally cool i'm okay with that too just as long as i've helped you let me know in the comments and leave a like thumbs up on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you're new i would be super grateful if you do and uh, stay connected with me on instagram reels tiktok instagram and every other platform because there's going to be more amazing things coming i can promise you that until next week guys i love you guys take care god bless have an amazing week let's go